Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Habakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shah, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this doctrine, in this truth, throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is going to be America is the cancer of the earth. All right. And America, really, the earth is just dying. All right. Imagine the earth being this body. All right, uh, and and America is a country, you know. Uh, uh, North America is a country, and in, in this body, and it's 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 a cancer, and it's just killing the earth. That's America, okay? It's killing the earth, and it has to be put out. This 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 cancer has to be uh, uh, destroyed. All right, and it's it's going to be destroyed literally by thermonuclear fire from the missiles that are going to be shot on this place. This place is going to be a uh, 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 the desolate, okay? And it's going to be righteous. It's going to be a righteous judgment on America because of 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 all the wickedness that they pushed out throughout the four corners of the world. All right, they they pushed their their wicked democracy, their wicked religion. You know, homosexuality, lies, murder. Uh, um, you know, um, all these wicked philosophies they push. Uh, all these uh, pseudo sciences. This is and this has really polluted the whole. It's polluted the you know the the, the minds of the people. Uh, um, it's polluted the whole earth. All right, you got all these heathen nations taking heed to uh, customs of America. You got Moabites and Hamites and uh, uh, all these other nations. Even though they're heathens, they're, they they partake in the ways of Esau. All right, they're over there celebrating Christmas. Okay, and, and all kind of you know wicked holidays that these dumbass niggas celebrate here because that that philosophy, that Babylonian philosophy. Uh, 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 that the demonocracy is, is pushed throughout the four winds of the world, okay? But that cancer, which is America, got to be destroyed, all right? Because it's pretty much destroying the earth. Everything in this earth that is pure, Esau has destroyed, all right? Starting off with the so-called white man, because you got to understand, this devil has the resources to do all these things. They have the resources to kill the earth, just like they have the resources to heal the earth, to to uh, uh, clean the oceans, clean the air, all right? Uh, uh, clean the water, you know? Everything that's pure in this world, because this world was made for the Israelites. All right, this world was made for our sakes, like the scripture says in Second uh, Ezra, the sixth chapter. Okay, but we're not in we're not in rulership right now. We're not in power right now. This devil Esau is in power. All right, the scripture says. Let me grab it real quick. Um, Job nine and verse twenty four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's this devil Esau ruling. Okay, there's this cancer of the earth, and I want to get the definition of cancer. All right, uh, this definition. I'm gonna, actually it's a few definitions. I'm gonna get this one right here. A practice or phenomenon perceived to be evil or destructive. That's Esau to a T. Evil and destructive. Okay, this devil's the hey, Babylon. Let's scripture say Babylon is the hammer of the earth, and hard to contain or eradicate. All right, it, hey, no one is gonna, no one's gonna take this devil out of rulership except Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, because they, the Most High, put this devil in rulership. So it's only right, right that this devil take Esau down, okay? And, and this devil is proud because they believe that their their kingdom, their rulership is gonna reign forever. They feel like, you know, they, these devils are so proud. They feel they can kill, kill Earth, kill the Earth, kill everything that's in in the Earth, and then go to another planet, go to Mars, or go somewhere in in, in some uh, uh some some space station and, and, and live it up all right but it ain't gonna work like that because all your all your 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 plans your new world order plans and uh um your plans to escape your judgment it, it's going it's going to fail it's going to fail miserably okay so um let me actually let me grab this real quick because with this devil being in rulership everything is everything is that, that like i said it's been pure and natural is this devil's destroyed all right, that's why he has to be destroyed. That's why it's going to be a righteous judgment because the sins of Esau have reached up to the heavens. All right, the, the Most High is going to remember all the sins that all the things that we don't know about, all the the, the shit Esau think they got away with. The Most High remembers. This is uh, Isaiah twenty four and four. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. All right, what does this word languish mean? 
languisheth. To become feeble, weak, inner, inner, innervated. All right, plants lang plants languish in drought. All right, something is they 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 they're deprived of something. The earth is deprived of really uh, a righteous rulership. Okay, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. This is this earth is fading away. Why? Because these devils are ruling. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Okay, that's this devil's rulership right here. I just read Isaiah, uh, excuse me, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right, they're ruling right now. And everything that this devil ha has ruled over is, is pretty much dead. All right. Um, let me grab this real quick. Uh, John uh, chapter 10 and 10. It says, The thief cometh not for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. For I come that they might have life, and they might have it more abundantly, this devil with Esau is that thief. Okay, he he com, comes comes to do nothing but destroy. All right, this devil Esau, America is anti-life. All right, the Most High and his son are pro-life. Okay, and this, and this devil wants to kill and and destroy everything that they set their eyes on. All right, look at the nation. Look at that. Look how look how all the nations around the world. The only reason these Esau is able to um have um you know, uh, manipulate these nations the way they are because these nations have made so much money off Esau. All right. They, they'll, that's how, that's how wicked Esau is. They'll, these, and, and these, and these heathen nations. All right. They'll, they'll, they'll turn their, their, their own people into degenerates and homos, um, just to get a, a, a part of that uh, pie that Esau's getting just to make that money. All right. So actually, let me get this. This is, uh, Revelations chapter 18. And I'm gonna start at, um, this is talking about Babylon, America's destruction. I'll start at two. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and become the inhabitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage, and a and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's talking about how America's going to be de desolate, all right, after the destruction. Verse three, for all nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All the nations have drunken the philosophies of America, all right? Have, they they take heed and and, and make deals and uh, with America. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, spiritual fornication, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right, that's why these nations, that's why America can give these uh, America influences these nations so much because they're na they're making money off of them. All right, if the, if you got these these uh, these these um, these presidents and prime ministers, they're making billions upon trillions of dollars. Off the American people because this is places, uh, uh, you know, this is a consuming nation. Okay, These, hey, at the end of the day, they ain't gonna give a shit about how, uh, 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 what they people think, or you know, they're gonna push whatever Esau wants them to do. Push democracy, push the you know homosexuality, push Christianity over there. All right, push all kind of all kind of wicked philosophies that Esau comes up with, lies and murder. All right, they, they'll 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 um, you know. They, like, like for instance, they push laws in certain countries over in Europe where you can't talk about a certain situation that happened during uh, World War II with a specific people. Okay, and you can't you can't speak of it because you know they'll throw your ass in jail. All right, that's the influence of Esau to cover up their wickedness. All right, back to the scripture. It says, "And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues.'" That's talking about literally coming up out of this place into the chariots that's talking about the elect okay that the that the elect is going to you know escape the judgment of america because america is going to get judged whether you believe in the scriptures or not all right whether you can see that esau's downfall or not america is going to be destroyed all right verse um five for her sins have reached unto heaven the most high have remembered her iniquities the most high remembers all the iniquities of Esau, even if you stupid ass Jake's out there can't realize that this devil hates you, that America has not been for you, the Most High and the elect and Yahweh Shai remember all the or, or not, excuse me, the Most High and Yahweh Shai, you know, remember all the iniquities, and the elect is is are, are the ones that um can see the iniquities of Esau also that that have a that can clearly see that this devil hates you, that this devil uh, uh is not for us. 
Okay, because all these things that this devil does, even though they try to sweep a lot of shit under the rug, and you got two third niggas, all right, Israelites that that forgive these devils that that act like you know that was a long time ago, slavery was a long time ago, we're past that, you know, or not necessarily slavery, just all the wickedness that Esau has done to our people. They they our people like to sweep the shit under the rug like it never happened. Okay, but hey. There, Esau is going to get judged for that. Esau is going to get a great judgment. America is going to get a great judgment for 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 the things that they thought that the things that they thought they got away with because they didn't get away with shit. All right, they're going to have to pay. Or this is Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse. Um, let me see, eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So just because you didn't get jacked up, you didn't get judged back in the 1600s, 1700s, prior to that, you know, the times when, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, um, in the ancient world, when you, you know, during the times of the Romans and the Greeks, just because you didn't get jacked up, all right, yeah, you you eating my back these, in these days, all right, through reincarnation, and you're going to get your judgment, all right, just because the, the, the judgment wasn't executed speedily, don't think that you got away with it, all right, like the scripture said, I just read, the most high has remembered your sins, your iniquities. All right, verse 12, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. All right, just because you, like I said, just because you got away with it and your days have been prolonged and you feel like, you know, you, everything's going right, you know, you're about to try to fulfill your new world order, you're going to rule forever. Hey, don't think just just because you, you, you're still ruling right now, just because you still have power, don't think it's going to last. Verse 13. But it shall it shall not be well with the wicked. Who are the wicked? Esau, Edom, and actually this is twofold for two thirds of our own people. All right, because two thirds of our own people they do wicked shit, but they got a zeal of the Most High. They 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 know they're going off, and, but they still they still do wickedness just because they ain't got jacked up. Just because they still you know uh, um, you know uh, um, are, are are you know they still just they're, they're still dwelling in their wickedness, and they think that you know the Most High didn't see him or it's okay. They're going to get jacked up too, but mainly Esau is going to get jacked up for all the wickedness they've done in their past also. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. And this devil can't fear the Most High, but two-thirds of our people, they don't fear the Most High either. They fear this damn devil. They fear what Esau could do to him. Okay? Actually, let me get this in Habakkuk. It's the book of Habakkuk, uh, chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse 4. Behold his soul, this is speaking of Esau. Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgressed, transgressed by wine, that's those philosophies, all right? He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. That's why you see all these embassies, U.S. embassies all over, all right? Esau's trying to spread that, Esau's spreading that, that cancer, okay, throughout the whole world, throughout the whole planet. All right, who enlargeth his desire as hell, as death, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. He gather unto him all, all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. All right, that, that's this devil trying to spread their wickedness. They they want they make it feel like they're 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 helping people. They're spreading so-called love, and you know uh, they're 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 helping build community. Hey man, the Esau's doing nothing but destroying the earth. All right, with their wickedness. Okay. And, and that shit, and it's coming to an end, all right? It's coming to an abrupt end because hey, Esau sees their end. That's why they're coming down with great wrath. That's why they're trying to use any and everything to keep this thing going. But this thing is, a hey, this thing is coming to a, a, a screeching halt, all right? Um, let me grab this, Jeremiah 51 and verse 7. It says, Babylon has been had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That shows you right there that the Lord's ultimately in control. All right, like it says in Daniel uh, 4 and 27, um, excuse me, 4 and 17, uh, let me get it, um, that clearly shows you that the Most High is in control, that verse right there. So the, the, the Babylon, speaking of America, has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. This is uh, Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the man by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of man and give it giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of man and the basis of man is clearly ruling right now this devil esau all right back to uh, jeremiah 51 and 7 
Babylon had been in golden cup in the Lord's hand. He made all the earth drunken, all right, drunken with what? Not literally wine, drunken with their philosophies, drunken with their wickedness. Okay, like I said, democracy, religion, homosexuality, lies, murder, their, their, their evil covetousness, okay? Their pseudosciences, that, that, that's what the, the world is drunk on, okay? Drunk on the lies that they're the people of the Most High and we just heathens. We're, 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 we're Hamites there, okay? We're, we're just, uh, uh, they'll, 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 they try to like the group, the, 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 the Northern Kingdom, the Latino tribes in with, um, um, what is that shit? What is it? They said that they were, um, damn, I can't think, but they, they, they try to, you know, uh, give us, you know, give, put these bywords on us and give it and, and group us in these, uh, uh um, group us in these these categories but but this is all lies okay the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad these these nations they they eventually they're gonna they're gonna sober up and they're gonna uh see that see that the 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 um the condition of their people and they're gonna be mad at Esau especially with uh with with um they're gonna see the condition of the people but to, to, to see how Esau has been getting over on them, but these nations are going to stand up eventually. That's how it's going to lead into this this uh, this third world's war, where all these nations are going to come against Babylon. All right, the beast is going to come against Babylon. All right, that that you know the NATO and the EU, everyone's going to turn on this devil. All right, because because like I said, it's a cancer of the earth. They're going to see how that how they did how dealing with Babylon, how dealing with America has destroyed their people, destroyed their nation. Okay. How America's been, like I said, been getting over on them for so many years. Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, may, if so, if so, be, she may be healed. Okay, it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us, and let us go everyone into our own country for her judgment reacheth, reacheth up to heaven and is lifted up even into the skies, the judgment of America, that, that smoke that's going to come from this place. It says the judgment reaches reach unto heaven. Back in back in Revelation 18, it said the sins have reached up to, up to heaven also. Okay? So that's the A. That, America, Esau has a heavy price to pay, has a, uh, has to, you know, has to, they, at the eventually they got to deal with the most high face to face and they're not ready. They think they're ready. That's why they have their space forces and they, you know, they're, they're, they're ICBMs, and they, they don't got a clue. The scripture even say that this devil's going to fight with Yahweh Shai and the angels. That's how proud this devil Esau is. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me grab this. Because it's clearly, it's, it's clear that this, this, under Esau, under Esau's rulership, all right, this is the worst condition that the earth has ever been in in the in the history of the world, all right. That's why the Most High is letting this hey, letting this, this devil keep going to just pretty much they're digging themselves a bigger hole, all right. Where even if they wanted to repent, even if they could wanted to get out of, they not all right. They're going to fight and they're going to lose miserably. This is the book of Psalms, chapter thirty four, and verse sixteen. And it reads, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, all right? And what people, what nation is, is only accustomed to do evil? Edomites, all right? To cut off, excuse me, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, all right? These devils eventually are going to be exterminated off the earth, pursuant to Obadiah chapter 1, verse um, 18. Where the hell is it? Let me get it. Actually, let me read a few verses in Obadiah. It says, Obadiah um, 1 and 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. This is talking about Esau. Esau is going to be small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Everyone, hey, we're at the time where everyone's going to despise Esau. You got some of these countries that still make, you know, deals with Esau, backdoor deals with Esau, but they're going to be despised by everyone. Everyone's going to be hey, trying to hey, go at Esau's neck pretty soon, trying to go at America's neck. All right, that that cancer because because that cancer is spreading, it, it spread all it spread off to the whole planet. All right, and these nations are going to try to uh, cut it off pretty much. All right, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down? That's the pride of America. Okay, that that that's that pride of, of Babylon that they 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 feel that no one could bring them down. They they can they can't be stopped. 
okay, that, that you know, um, they've been ruling for so long, they, they rule with their sword, you know, they have the greatest military, they, they have the money system, they have the, they, they just, all they need is the people's mind, all they need is to implement that chip, and once they chip you, they, 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 they really going to have that pride that no one can bring them down. Verse 4, thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Okay, the Lord is going to bring this devil down. Okay, the, that, that's the only the Lord. Hey, the Lord put him up in that position. Therefore, he has to bring them down. All right, through his son Yahweh Shai and those and those angels. All right. Um, let me jump over here to uh, I want to read verse seven. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. They, those are those nations that are mad and prevailed against thee. They that eat. Thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in them, in him. So all these nations that were once confederated with Esau, they're going to come against Esau and they're going to come hard. All right. Because in their minds, these nations think that once Esau is out the way, you know, everything is going to, you know, they're, they're going to, they're going to set up their rulership. They feel like they got next and they're going to, they're going to be mistaken too. They're going to go into slavery right along with Esau because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai got next. All right. Yahweh Shai is going to rule. In, 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 in the kingdom of heaven forever, all right? Yeah, it's going to be Yahweh Shai, King David, and the 12, all right? And the elect, okay? That's the next rulership. That's who got next, okay? Not you heathens, all right? Let me jump down to 18. It says, the house of Jacob shall be as a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. That's that after that thousand years of slavery, or slavery where Esau's uh, going to be exterminated off the face of the earth. The Esau is going to be an afterthought, like the uh, scripture said, just read, I, I just read in Psalm 34, that uh, to cut them, to cut, to cut off the remembrance, remembrance of them from the earth. The, the, it's, Esau is going to be an afterthought. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred uh, years in the kingdom, people ain't going to forget who the hell Esau is. Okay. Um, and they, and they shall kindle in them and devour them and their, shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. No remaining of the house of Esau. Okay, that's why the scripture below it says that that their their um their land is going to be uh taken as a possession. All right. They ain't gonna need that land no more that was given to them by the Heavenly Father. Okay. So um you know Lord within this lesson was edifying to the elect. All right, and I would like to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the whole full elect. Shalom.